everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're inside of my cabinet right now. Um, I just got off the phone with leaving a voicemail that's way too much butter. I just got off the phone with Ryland's vet. If you don't know who Ryland is, she's my dog. She's four years old. She's a Bichon Yorkie. She has had this problem multiple times where like her front paw, she'll like start just like walking and not using her front paw. So then they prescribe her steroids and pain medicine, call it a day. Some time passes and then it's her back leg, same kind of thing happening. So um, I can't even talk about this without getting emotional. Something similar happened with my other dog who um, was a different breed and older than Ryland but still not old, he was really young. Um, he got osteosarcoma and the same thing happened with like the leg and then you know the front leg and the back leg and they did the same thing, prescribed steroids and pain meds and it wasn't getting better. So we took him to a specialist and found out that he had cancer and that it was pretty bad and he needed to be put to sleep. So it was awful. Needless to say, I have PTSD. And so now I'm trying to call the vet and just get a handle on that. Besides that, Chris is on day five of the flu. So I'm making him some breakfast. He doesn't really have an appetite, but he's been liking fruit and just some toast. And then bone broth because that has lots of protein in it. And he just needs something. And then today he finally gave in because I took him to urgent care yesterday. They prescribed him a steroid and an anti nausea med. He didn't want to take it yesterday. He's like, I'm not taking that stuff. Today he let me pick it up and he's taking it. So let's go give this to Chris and we will pick this back up. We are doing a get it all done video because as you can see, I'm a hot mess. Even my three year old daughter this morning told me that I should not be wearing this to bring her to school. She literally said, she looked at me, she's like, Mommy, why are you not ready? And I was like, I am ready. This is what I'm wearing. And I was like, you don't like it? And she's like, mm, mm So it's funny. I told her, I was like, when I pick you up, hopefully I'll be able to get ready. But anyway, let's go give this to Chris and pray that he feels better. This, I, feel, I feel selfish saying this, but I'm really excited for my nail appointment today. So I'm hoping that I can go while she naps and the other kids are at school and Chris will be like, okay. Um, because I haven't gotten my nails done since before Easter. And my thumbnail fell off and it actually like hurts so I just I need to get my nails done I'm praying that that happens but anyway Wusa. what helps me when I'm going through rough times is just pointing out everything that I'm grateful for and I'm telling you God and gratefulness is what's gotten me through uh, the past week or so these folded clothes have been sitting here for quite some time I need to put those on fold all of these and these but wait there's more I also just want to like make the kids beds and open up some windows because today is like I think one of the last nice days here for a while. Um, so I want to get some fresh air in here. I'm also super excited because I finally got a new patio set because ours is like falling apart outside. So hopefully with my big muscles I'll be able to bring all that in also. But anyway I also want to just straighten up the girls rooms and do the same thing let some fresh air in here. The funny thing is is that it's what time is it? It's 9.56 and I have to pick Evie up at 11.30, so I don't have a lot of time to do much of anything, but first I just need to like shower and give myself some self-care. I did work out at 5.30, so that does make me feel like I've cared for myself today. Um, I also I need to eat breakfast too, but I'm gonna get in the shower real quick and then we're gonna get started. Excuse me, sir, can you come inside? He just waits next door for the um, other Shih Tzu to come out and bark at him. He doesn't want to be friends, just wants to bark at him, so he waits here on the trampoline for him. Come on, Chapel Charles. Chapel, come on, baby. Come on, I want to get in the shower. Come. So beautiful out, definitely, like, helps my mood for sure. Thank you. Come on. Come on, let's go inside, handsome. 10.15, dressed dress like I didn't have to wash my hair. I already did my skincare and I put my, um, what's it called? Tinted moisturizer on. Let's see how long it'll take me to get ready.
You guys, I'm so happy with how the office came out. If you missed that video, it's my last video. Go check it out. It came out better than I could have expected. So before I start doing like all of the tedious things, I forgot to mention one of my biggest tasks that I've been putting off until this video, plus I just literally haven't had a second, is the pantry. It's crusty. It has been ransacked. It needs a lot of love and organization. And I know it feels like I do a lot of pantry organizations, but it's been over a month and it just it needs help so we gotta do a pantry refresh but one thing that helps me especially when i'm like solo parenting which doesn't happen a lot but is when we do a schedule i always share this as a mom hack my kids love it don't mind my thumbnail my kids love when we do a schedule so when they get home from school they see everything on there and i just feel like most kids do like schedule and routine but my kids absolutely love when i write down a schedule for after school so i'm gonna go ahead and do that just so that like it makes me feel better about the rest of my day oh yeah put them up here the only thing um that i have to leave for at some point today is gymnastics for ella let's go ahead and write out our schedule first things first snack time right always snack time and another mom hack that i have that i've been loving i've shared it on instagram a lot but just in case you don't follow me on Instagram, is that I have a healthy snack ready for them when they get home from school because they're usually hungry when they get home, so they're more likely to eat like the fruits and veggies that are out instead of like just going and grabbing a bag of chips. So of course they can have their other snack after, but they enjoy when I have a snack out for them too. Things that you wouldn't necessarily think your kids enjoy, like a like fruit and veggie snack or a schedule. My kids actually love that. And then I do always let them have a little bit of screen time while they're having their snack. Um, I know how it feels to just want to like come home and like veg out for a second after a long day. So I'm fine with that. We actually have a competition going on right now. So whoever gets the most certificates from IXL is going to win a prize. Um, they've all been doing so amazing with it though. So they did that this morning actually, which made my morning much easier because they were doing that and competing and helping each other which i really liked um while i was packing lunches and getting breakfast ready and all of that so here you can see carter is currently using ixl to work on his reading i'm so excited to be partnering with ixl again my goal for all of my kids is that they feel confident in their classrooms learning asking questions reading out loud and answering questions ixl has really helped boost their confidence and work on anything that they needed extra help with outside of the classroom and i am someone who really connects the dots at home by myself after learning in the classroom while studying or doing homework and i really see that in my kids too the practice questions really help them learn with examples and are great for both audio and visual learners Plus, IXL is backed by research that will improve your child's test scores. I also absolutely love that they have adaptive diagnostics that help you understand where your child needs the most help because I feel like while they're at school, I don't really know what they're struggling with. IXL is trusted by over 15 million students worldwide and has proven to increase performance in over 75 scientific studies. It is so supportive. Family memberships start at only $7.96 per month. You can get access to all core subjects for 25% off your first month or year. I'll have everything on screen here as well as linked down below. But I highly recommend IXL because my kids love it. We've been using them since last summer and it's been amazing. Grateful for IXL for helping get us through our morning. So we have snack and screen time and then we're 100% going to do something outside, whether that's a family walk or I fill up the water table, soccer. Carter will definitely want to play soccer outside, so then I'll put outside time. Very simple, but keeps me on track for bedtime. Plus, I'm telling you, it's something so silly and little that took me five minutes to write out and think about, and they're gonna they're gonna be happy with that. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with the pantry first because that's stressing me out the most besides laundry. But laundry, I know I can do after the kids are already sleeping. The hardest task for me is going to be putting Everly for her nap without falling asleep because I'm so tired. And sometimes you know how it is like when you lay with your kids, you just want to pass out. Yesterday I did take it out with her. So the pantry is just, it just needs some love. The best thing about having systems in place is that refreshes are easy. So it's not like I have to take everything out and put it back in because I already did that recently and I have systems. It's just kind of like putting things where they belong and like putting some more things away that are like in bags or like the seltzer waters are in boxes still. 
So things like that, that will make all of our routines easier because you can see everything and just easily grab, know what you have. I always say this, like organization is not just about looks, it's also about simplifying your life and making things easier. And I also, I did record my Whole Foods order that I got in yesterday before karate, so I am going to insert that right here. All right, so here is my Whole Foods delivery. Thank God for grocery delivery, especially when you're struggling or people are sick in your house or it just honestly makes life so much easier. So just showing you some of the goodies that we got. The kids have dessert almost every night. Um, sometimes dessert is just fruit, but I definitely let them be kids and have dessert every night. Here are some more frozen things that I got. I am going to be doing, um, I don't know if you saw it in my schedule or not, it's a kind of like a what I eat in a day with my workouts and self-care and planning and all of that that is a video coming up soon so I will be going over some of the recipes that I'm loving right now since I am doing um, like counting my macros and all of that and I will say since counting my macros I actually eat more definitely get way more protein than I was getting and it hasn't gotten boring yet. I've been really enjoying it and it's been about four weeks now. You know, I shop all over the place depending on my mood, but lately I feel like I've been doing a lot of Whole Foods because I've just been like redoing my same order. I love all the Amy Lou, I think that's how you say it, stuff. And I just recently started eating tuna fish, which I never thought I'd say that, but I make it really good with a lot of like herbs and pickles and I don't know it's good but maybe like I'm a once a week I can have two and I can't have it like more than once a week um but yeah this week I really want to do Costco because I just feel like there's so many things that we need in bulk right now and I do feel like depending on the selection that week I feel like I do save a lot on produce at Costco Where do you guys have memberships at? We literally have everything. We have Sam's Club, Costco, BJ's. We have them all. I feel like it is worth it when you have like a large family like we do. Um, but yeah, here's just some more stuff. If you shop at Costco, let me know some of your Costco faves down below because I love trying new stuff as well. So the program that I'm doing right now is called First Form, and if you want more information on that, I'll have it linked down below. But I also did a high protein meal prep where I go a little bit more in depth with it. But Brie, who is my advisor, recommended this dressing, the Bolt House brand, and I have been loving it so far. Um, it's really good. I've only tried the balsamic, but she also said the ranch is really great. So I got that as well because I have been eating a lot of salads. So speaking of salad, here is all of our produce. So the reason that you see so many salad ingredients is because I was working on a volume eating last week, so I like to stay full longer to eat, you know, things like this. And it definitely helped keep me full for a longer period of time and got my veggies in. If you have any volume eating recipes that you enjoy, let me know down below. I have seen, like, I've really enjoyed watching reels on high protein meals or volume eating. And some of the volume eating I just cannot get down with because I just can't, I don't find it like healthy just because you can eat a lot of like, for example, there's this real that I saw. It was like someone eating two whole heads of cauliflower just saturated in all kinds of cheese because she wanted cheese and she was like still volume eating with the cauliflower. I mean, whatever works for you, but that's not the kind of eating that I'm going for. I'm just trying to eat like real food and be healthy, but keep that in mind because I feel like the same goes for keto. Like there's a healthy version of keto and then there's a version where you're just eating way too much cheese. I don't know. That's my thoughts personally.
Also, I absolutely love the Waterloo Seltzer water. If you can find Summer Berry or this one, they're amazing. Here's a little quick overview of that popcorn on the top we really don't like. We got it as like a fundraiser for one of their schools. So I'm probably going to just see if anybody else wants that. Maybe the teacher will want it or something. Um, just got to get some order up in here, you know? My instinct is to want to buy more containers, but we know can't do that yet we got to see what we have because I know I have a lot of containers and then I also have recently gotten so much more like supplements and protein powders I still 110% love Truvani that's my favorite but since I'm doing like the first form program I got some of their protein as well um, I got their kids protein and I also recently started um, where are we I also recently started taking creatine last week to try to help build muscle so we'll see if that helps i instantly think of mean girls who remembers that from mean girls um and then my poor little dinner baskets have been neglected for a long time and this one on monday is just full of chocolate chips sounds like a good dinner for me anyway it's time to pick up evie already somehow so i'm gonna get her feed her lunch put her for a nap and then we'll get back to it feeling good knowing that I'm ready for the day, that I'm caffeinated even though I definitely need more coffee. I ate breakfast, I fed Chris, got him his medicine, still waiting to hear back from the vet for Rylan, but I did have to tell all the little things because it wasn't like I was just sitting around. I have the kids schedule ready for the day, so I feel like I'm ready to go. Just need to get her fed and down for her. I can't forget my nail appointment. I'm very excited for that. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to go. I wanted to show you my lunch real quick in case you need a recipe. So I'm doing, just have some oil in our pan, I'm doing one cup of coleslaw mix, one cup of shredded Brussels sprouts, salt, pepper, I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit. All right, now that this is cooked down a little bit, I'm adding one cup of frozen cauliflower rice, and some frozen peppers. Adding four meatballs. My thumbnail, I can't even. <laughs> 10 grams of protein. These are also like pre cooked, so you just need to basically warm them up. And they're in the fridge, not freezer. And then just a tiny bit of this sweet and spicy Tabasco. What I'm going to do is take out the containers. Like I said, I'm not taking out everything, but I want to take out the containers and the chip bags and go from there. Okay, that took under five minutes to do, so now I'm just going to fill up the containers and wipe down those couple of shelves. It's 12.39, and see how long it takes. That's done, it took no time at all. It's 12.55, looks like Everly's waking up. Um, the cereals, I'm gonna move up one. But first I'm gonna refill these.
liking my change of shelves, basically like a breakfast and bread shelf. And then I was excited because I thought I needed more of this, the kid's favorite, but I have some. So I'll need, I'll need more in like two days now. I have a rule that if you have cereal for breakfast one morning, the next morning you have to have something different. That helps a little bit, but, but this morning I think we were two days in a row on cereal because I was just surviving. I'm gonna put some extras up top. I am not done at all, but it's time for my appointment and I have to get cash out for a fit. So I'm eating my strawberries and string cheese snack and then making myself a nice coffee. And I'm gonna edit while I'm getting my pedicure done. My nails took way too long because we wound up taking off like originally I had a tip on because my nails were too short and then like a gel overlay and I was getting gel refills but anyway we took all that off and I just have gel on my real nail but I love the color um, so anyway it's basically time to go to gymnastics so real quick I just want to finish at least um, putting all this stuff together putting this back in the pantry so funny like you think we have all this time and everything just takes basically triple the amount of time that I think it will take and that is just my life in general <laughs> Remember how this was overflowing? We just had a, some neighborhood friends over and it's already time to restock. That's why I stay so stocked between four kids and friends. We need to stay stocked up. I think it's funny that I said I don't want to take everything out, but I feel like I have to at least take all this down to figure out how to put it up here nicely. This is like my shelf of like, proteins and the snacks that I like that nobody else likes. All right, so just taking everything off of here so I can see what I have, reevaluate, wipe down everything. I was able to combine two of my um, protein powders into one bag, so I didn't take everything out like I usually do. So just doing like shelf by shelf was helpful and a lot less overwhelming again because we just recently did take everything out and it was unnecessary.
I always love seltzer water and my kids like them as well. Like I said, these flavors are so good that they have out right now, but I noticed that a lot of times when trying to eat healthier, if you start to crave bad food, if you just have like a good flavored seltzer water, it takes that craving away. Sometimes I think we just want some flavor. Um, so anyway, that's just a little tip. Obviously, make sure you're eating enough calories and all of that, but I think sometimes we're not actually hungry. We just want something like even a piece of gum. So much better. I have some empty spaces which are good for just things I can like stock up on for the family like when we do Costco orders and things like that but I have got to go do my voiceover for my office makeover and it's 9 o'clock so I'll do another overview tomorrow in the daylight and then we'll catch back up on everything else. First I have to vacuum this. Welcome back guys. So the last thing we did was organize the pantry. I'm so happy with how it came out, but it's just funny because you know when you unpackage things and organize them, it looks like less. So Carter was like, what happened to all of our food? I was like, it's actually just like nice and organized right now. But I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I had to get more groceries yesterday. I feel like lately it's been like three times a week having a grocery shop and I just can't get it down. I never can, so it is what it is. And I still, I think probably Monday or so, I'm gonna wanna do a Costco grocery shop. Um, but anyway, today I wrote everything down because I have so much like on my mind that my brain is just like ping-ponging all over the place and not staying focused on one thing. So where is that, for example? My free printable that's always on my website. I just laminated it and usually I'll do a permanent marker but I got tired of like using a magic eraser to get it off so I did um, dry erase markers this time. So my top priorities today are the bedrooms, which I'm gonna start with, and then I'm gonna switch the laundry, and then I'm going to get ready because I already like shot, I already shower. I already worked out today and all that, so I want to get ready for the day. And I'm actually freezing. I have shorts on, but it's what 49 degrees out, and on Monday I had on shorts and a tank top, so I just I don't understand. Um, but it's cold now. So then after I do the rooms and laundry and then get ready. I'm gonna come downstairs and do the fridge, which today just happens to be Friday. And my girlfriend, Andrea from Home and Family Management, she always talks about like Fridge Friday and like redoes her fridge and, you know, grocery shops and stuff like that. And I just so happened to do my fridge on a Friday and it felt really nice to be like prepared for the weekend. So for example, right now, when I got groceries, I didn't have time to go ahead and prep produce and things like that. So I got to do that type of thing because we have a crazy weekend with sports and we're going to a Phillies game. We just have a lot of stuff going on. So it'll be good to be prepared. After that, I'm going to do the outside, which I'm not recording for this because I'm doing a whole outside video. So today, my goal is to at least set up the furniture out there and then maybe later on in the weekend, get some new mulch and just, you know, get things going outside. I do just dream of outdoor dinners and all of the warm spring stuff. It just needs to stay warm. And then I had to pack for Ella because she's having a sleepover with my niece tonight after dance class. Um, and then planning. Planning is always like my last thing because it's like my treat because I truly enjoy planning. Just to be 100% honest, this April I erased my dry erase calendar, wrote down all of the dates, and then didn't write a single thing on there. Like that's how much April was a blink. Like we're just kind of like surviving in April um, it was just such a like hectic month. Chris was sick a bunch. Now 
today he is finally like feeling like a little bit better. Sorry, I'm easily distracted. So anyway, I want to get May together and like actually write things down on the dry erase board because I was talking to my sister and she was saying something about next weekend and I looked at the date and I'm like, May? Like how is it May? But I think that um, for May, I really want to do a monthly reset together again because it's been a while since we've done that. So stay tuned for that. Um, so that may not sound like a lot, but it is. I also have like on my other tasks on here, I have the edit two videos. I got a new purse and some stuff to go in my purse because I just, I haven't had anything that I should be having like when I'm out with the kids, like tissues, I ran out of hand sanitizer, gum, like just all the little things that are good to have on you. And my favorite purse is actually finally starting to fall apart. So I got a different one on Amazon. However, I do really want to replace my old purse, which was also a very affordable purse. Um, I just haven't been able to find it online. And then we have dance and a soccer game at 7.30 tonight. So that should be fun with Everly. But I don't miss any of Carter's games, so she's going to have to tag along with me. Let's go do the bedrooms and start some laundry. And then I can shower and put something warmer on because I am freezing. All right, the first room we're doing is the boys room remember in the beginning of the video i was like i want to open up their windows and do all this in their room i never got to do it that day so remember to give yourself grace because that is life especially when you're a busy mom who has kids and has different sports practices and all of that kind of thing so anyway it's not the same day that i said i wanted to do it and it's cold out so you will see me like cleaning up their room and everything but i didn't open the windows on this day Now that their beds are made, I'm just wiping down their dresser really quickly and putting some essential oils in their diffuser. Finally just doing a quick vacuum. There were like some crumbs on the floor, but even if there aren't, I feel like if I'm making the bed, especially since like having my older vacuum, we put it upstairs in the laundry room so that it's there. I feel like I like to just do a quick vacuum. It takes like no time and gets the dust out of their bedroom because I definitely think Tanner suffers from allergies for like dust and just seasonal allergies in general. This time of year, his eyes get really puffy and we do give him, um, I'm trying to think of the name. It's a green pill. Oh, it's called Dehist. And it's like, you know, more of like a naturopathic thing that does help him. So when his allergies are really bad, we do that. But I definitely notice dust bothers him. It bothers me too. Moving on to the girls room, doing the same process. I will just say if you have airpods or headphones and you have a good playlist it honestly makes the world of a difference it makes the world of a difference in my workouts i burn more calories when i'm listening to music but also when i'm cleaning it just keeps me motivated so i know a lot of times people like to watch videos or podcasts or listen to music i really feel like all of those are helpful also, I remember like if I talk to my sister on the phone or like have a phone call, I also clean so much better if I'm on the phone. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if anyone can relate to that. Stick around, no. But the way you 
All right, just doing a quick wipe down over here as well and then opening up their windows and just doing a little bit of a tidy around their bedroom. Both the boys' and the girls' bedrooms we recently redecorated. If you wanna watch those videos, all of those videos, I have everything in their bedrooms linked down below. Um, but I'm just so happy with them. They just feel so much more cozier and complete to me. I don't know, but they both make me really happy. My girls are in their headband era right now and I absolutely love it. So if you have any good shops that do headbands, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Look at how bright and like colorful their room is. It just makes me so happy. And then you go into my room and my room makes me happy as well. It's just like all really calming neutral colors because I feel like, you know, it's our escape. It's where we go to sleep. And I don't know, I just want our bedroom here to be like neutral and calm. But before we get to my bedroom, we are switching the laundry. Moving into my bedroom, just want to get some light in here before I make the bed. And you'll see me using like one of the, um, oh my gosh, a lint roller on my bed. I do not use a lint roller on my bed every day, just putting that out there. If you do, that's amazing. But the reason that I'm using it is because we just had our grass cut for the first time this season and it got on the dog's paws and it was on our bed. And I literally just washed my comforter, so I wasn't about to wash it for a couple pieces of grass.
Now we're just doing a quick vacuum, then I'm going to get some of my clothes that were air drying and put those away. If you're new here, we also redid the laundry room. We went on like a redoing spree. Nothing crazy, just like paint and decor and all that type of stuff. And in the laundry room, we did some shelving, cabinets, some wallpaper. So if you want to see that video, go ahead and check that out. But I love how the laundry room came out too. Finally time for me to shower and get ready. I washed my hair the night before so that was good and I have to wash that. It takes much faster. Um, so just switching the laundry and then we're going to go downstairs and just prep some more meals and produce and get our fridge together. Let's have a little check in here. I'm gonna just, we did the rooms. That doesn't have to come off like that. I need a wet paper towel. Um, so we did the rooms. The laundry is never going to be done. Um, and now I have to do the fridge. And part of that is just prepping some of my meals for the weekend. I'm making the same thing that I just showed you earlier um, in this video of like, it's Brussels sprouts and the cabbage and ground turkey. And I'm also going to prep some salads and then prep produce and then we're done. Let's get it all done besides planning, which we'll do like probably later tonight. Now that we have that prepped, I'm just doing some overnight oats and unfortunately I hated this so they were a waste and I wound up throwing them away. I forgot to use like any type of sweeteners besides like the protein that you see here. So it was just, it wasn't it. So... These unfortunately were a waste. Time for cup number two. So sometimes instead of doing a full-blown meal prep, I'll just prep a little extra lunch that I'm making for myself or ingredient prep. In this case, putting the salads into their own containers was actually going to save me space in the fridge and make it easier for me to grab my salad out that I already have the macros pre-calculated for in my app. So I just try to make life easier when I can. If I have some extra time, it just it helps in the long run. Now that that's done, we're just cleaning out our sink so that we can soak our produce and get that all prepped for the weekend.
This process of like washing your fruit ahead of time will take a couple extra minutes out of your day, but again, in the long run, saves you time for when you're packing lunches or if your kids want some fruit. My kids eat a lot of fruit, so my produce does not go bad because I get that question a lot. And so far in life, I found that the best method for me to keep my fruit staying fresh is by putting a napkin in the bottom of a glass mason jar filling it up with the fruit sometimes put another napkin on top you definitely like want your produce as dry as possible before you put it away but having the napkin in the jar is helpful for absorbing moisture It feels really good to have all of that done, but it also just like helps me with the fridge Tetris that I play. If I could go back to anything with our house build, we, I'm just too easy. I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. Yep, good. Like I didn't go crazy with anything when we got our house built, but I do wish that I would have had a bigger spot in the kitchen for a larger fridge since we are such a large family and eat most of our meals at home. We do have a fridge in the garage, which is helpful, but I just wish our inside fridge could be bigger while still being grateful for what we have now. I definitely am playing Tetris a lot in my fridge. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'd also really appreciate it if you left your May video request down below because I am planning my content this week and I will have our um, weekly newsletter going out this evening which you can get at tiffanybeeston.com just by scrolling to the bottom and entering your email. So I hope this video motivated you to get it all done. You can do it, just give yourself some grace. So I